All right, talk about these races as I set up the game. Yes. Okay, so uh, Free Ball as a very long time competitor. We have player cards. We have. Uh... We do. Okay, Free Ball has been around since MT2. I think it was in the community during MT1, just wasn't available that day. Um, and Hopscotch, a friend of mine, invited in MT8, uh, made top 8 in MT9? It had to have been 9. A second appearance in some uh, wild upsets, but ended up getting crushed by Nighty in some very bad draws. Um, both of them longtime players, free ball, with actually a better win rate career than I expected. Uh, usually goes, uh, you know, maybe one and two. Not a player that we expect to see going very far, but sometimes, you know, pulls out a very good draw, pulls out some good gameplay. Yeah. Hopscotch, just a, I want to say very good player, but also somewhat inconsistent. Uh, tested with me for several MTs, did a lot of back-end work there, has a lot of experience with a lot of different games. Famously submitted about 50 different DS subs to oh, yeah. MTs, <laughs> 15 or sub, so. Sub. <laughs> um, so has some tastes in games that maybe not everyone fully agrees with, but can give uh, them some very interesting skills and uh, ideas. So we'll see what happens in this race. Yeah. Like, it, it's a bit cheap to say above average for Hopscotch. Because, I mean, yeah, obviously 57%. But I, I think that's, like, where Hopscotch kind of ends up in, right? That, that kind of region of yeah. players. Oh, absolutely. I, I would consider Hopscotch a slightly better player than myself, based on testing a lot of games together. Usually, what's it called? Uh, they would end up just finishing a slightly... Uh, how it worked is that we, had a, we found the Hopscotch point of the game, where um, if the game went on too long, I would take the lead oh that's that's the thing with me too shorter yeah, games are uh, better for me what's it called um so er, so hopscotch is good at making some lucky guesses intuiting some interactions but as the games draw on sometimes loses a bit of that uh initial momentum gets a little bit struggles with uh sometimes if there's a puzzle that's not quite intuitive and you can't just mash your face against um, free ball skills. Free ball has game development experience. I've definitely seen a lot of good games made. Snakebird GB made. Day on Maze. Uh, what else did free ball make? Day on Maze is really good. Yes, it is. It's really good. I was making some cool shmup thing. You might see some screenshots around here. Hang out on the Discord. Um, but who knows when that'll come out? Uh, looks like our players are almost ready. Though. Yeah. We've got a cool game that was almost in top 8 a couple of years ago. I think it ended up getting pushed into a later round match. We've got Bombastic, which is a puzzle platformer about blowing some stuff up. I don't remember the details. I'll, I'll remember a little bit more about this game. What's it called? When it actually starts? Maurice, do you remember this game at all? I remember that we played it. Yeah. That's it. For space or up to do an exploding jump. Blow up all the orange blocks. I'm pretty sure the ones with exclamation marks would blow up ones that are touching them. Which is pretty good to set off chain reactions. This first couple levels very fast, just getting you used to the idea of moving around. We've got a wall jump. Ooh, I, I like games with a wall jump. Yeah. That's, that's what uh, Soul Mirror or whatever it was called was missing. Didn't really have a lot of walls to jump off of. It, that's it was, true. It was one of those what's it called hold right platformers and figure out when you need to stop, let go of that to hit a interaction. So this, uh, is, this is like a classic puzzle platformer. There's going to be execution, but there's also going to be yeah. figuring out what do I want to destroy first. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopscotch seeing that you can... What's it called? Launch that cannon to hit those last couple of blocks. Oh, we got ice physics suddenly. Oh, yeah. This isn't even Very World 3 yet. I don't think this game has worlds, so this is level... What's it called? I, I want to say this game had about, like, 30-ish levels. 
maybe 40. The fr it, it, it's one of those games where there's a difficulty spike, and sometimes the later levels just start taking several minutes where the first couple are, you know, seconds long. Ooh, Freeball touches the corner of a spike there right at the end of this level. Oh, uh, previous game also had that. If you run into a spike from the side, you die. Yeah. It was one jump where you, like, jump up a, up a platform that had spikes mm -hmm. on it, and you cannot hold against the platform as you do that. Mm-hmm. We were catching up, though, because Hopscotch mm -hmm. ran into the spike. That's a tough jump to make there. Yeah. At the end. The free ball Especially does it. with the moving platforms, oh yeah, God. you gotta time it. The platform's just a little bit slower than you want it to be, I think. Free ball. Which was also something in the previous game. Free ball, like, wasn't even jumping off the right side of the platform, which is, like, some, mm -hmm. something you'd want to do. Both oh, this is... Players. Yeah. This is about the order, I think, right? Free ball's going for the jump? No. <laughs> it would not work, I don't think. You'd be very it. impressed, but yeah. Left, right, middle. You want to, want middle to. last. Yeah. Get that block out of the way and use this cannon to hit the last one. Both the players oh, and... seeing that. Yeah. Rebo gets, gets it a little faster, I think. So catch us up some more. Mm -hmm. Now it's portals. Hopscotch sees the right order first try. Reball removed the cannon floor before activating the cannon. Or maybe it didn't even shoot the right cannon first. If you activate a cannon and then like remove its floor, it will still stay on the same tile until it fires, which is kind of nice. That's like player-friendly design. Yeah. These levels getting a lot more puzzly now with these portals and having to figure out exactly where these cannons can shoot. And oh, you gotta go back. Rebo messed it up. Hopscotch still has it in her solvable state, I believe. Yeah, taking the time to actually see and make sure a solution will work before committing to any decisions. And now you dropped okay, the bomb. has the floor out of the way. I don't know what Frank. this cannon is for. <laughs> that worked. Just bait, I guess. Oh, Freebo used it to destroy, like, like a middle floor there, but I guess Hopscotch just destroyed it differently. We are synced. I, I like this patience from Hopscotch. Just looking at the entire level, trying to figure out something that'll actually, what's it called, solve before making any decisions. Oh yeah, and he's correct. Uh, Freeball activated the left side first, and that locked him out of the solution. Ah, but Hopscotch hits the spikes! Ooh, yeah, that Freeball. that's costly. Freeball, um, again, activated the left side too early. You gotta wait pretty long before you do that. No, this is too early. I... This will not work. See? You gotta wait, like, yeah. five more seconds or so. But Hopscotch gets to clear, so she's moving on. Yep. Um, what's it called? I do think that it's interesting that the difficulty of this curve, the difficulty curve of this game, you benefit from sight reading, er, looking through and figuring out a solution to some of these middle levels, but near the end of the game, they'll get complex enough that I think that it's probably better to just sort of do some things and see how the, you know, objects interact when they explode, yeah, rather that's a good than point. Like, trying to calculate in your head. It's like when you start a tough level of the Incredible Machine, and mm -hmm. don't even think about it, just start the thing, see what it does, see what's missing. Mm -hmm. But at this point in the game, I think uh, when you only have like two or three choices, it, it makes sense to look at which one of them will actually like ruin the level immediately before firing it off. Because some of these S can be costly, you're waiting a while for these blocks to explode. Oh, um, using the top right cannon to destroy this middle column is wrong. You need that cannon to destroy the left part of the level. So the right solution is like... Yeah. Uh, this is wrong again for Freeball and for Hopscotch. Unless... Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's I, I don't I think the wall that. jumps in this game <laughs> that way. Okay, so this is one. Already messed it up. Ooh, if that block had cleared, oh. Oh, we, well, we're over there now, but like, I don't think we can get back up here. 
No. Okay. But yeah, one, and then two, and then three. Oh, uh... Wait, what's three about? Um, oh wait, no, no, I'm, I'm talking complete cr crap. This is one. Oh, is that just for destroying the middle thing? And it uh, clears the floor for number two. And then three, and then four. I mean, it feels like you just need to get rid of that middle wall. Yeah, one will do that. Yeah, I know. Um... Oh, uh, Hopscotch did the thing that I was thinking, that, which will Is also work. Middle... Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's like <laughs> that's... the cheese solution. You yes, just... that, that's the classic Hopscotch track. Just jump around on the level until you get something that works that wasn't wrong at the solution. Freeborn has solved it like correctly, I assume. Caught up. Okay. Uh... It is like an execution level. That's what I mean with puzzle yeah. platform. This is a race against time to make it up to, to, to that last cannon, which Hopscotch successfully does. Clears the level before Freeball gets anywhere, really. Yeah, Freeball's still struggling with these icy jumps, and the, the ice physics are worse than they seem, from what I remember. <laughs> you slide a lot, which in a game this usually fluid can uh, really be costly. Level's I think Freeball mess. sees uh, exactly what he needs to do now and just needs to get the, you know, confidence to just keep moving and reset if it doesn't work out. Nice and clean. Don't jump into the spikes at the end there. <laughs> it was a bit hard to tell what Freeball was doing. It was like jumping off screen and I was like, oh, it's gonna come down here, but now it's like a coming back move. Lots of looking, and I agree. Yeah. So do you think working oh, backwards? Do you think working backwards is advisable here? Uh, with something like this, I would think about just what each of the things I can interact with the start actually do. Just see, this cannon's going to remove these walls. This cannon's going to remove these walls. What What are my real options here? And then look for the thing that's most difficult to destroy. Like. Reball has it. Bombs at the top. Soft. Oh no, it, it's not soft. No. Wait, okay. where's the white? You need oh. to shoot something through a white. Oh, this, so this you one. You need to destroy that, yeah. Yeah, okay. That left wall first, but that should be an easy adjustment if he remembers what he did last time. Hopscotch looks pretty good here. Oh, Freebo is in the same state, basically. Looks good. Okay. I'll go up here, destroy this. We'll open. Uh, yeah. That's a clear for Freeball. Okay. Freeball Should is be a clear for Hopscotch. Freeball is more willing to just go for it. Yes, absolutely. And I wonder if, while it seems to work out pretty well right now, there's gonna be like a level where that's gonna bite Freeball. Hopscotch once again kind of cheesed it. No, I think that was all intentional. It did like a weird move where it dropped the bomb down here, where you were supposed to shoot a laser up and down. Oh. Hmm. But I thought that was what that bomb was for. Uh, th there was supposed to be like a floor above, just mocking the laser. Hopscotch just misses miss the platform jump there. Pretty well clears it. Freebo is one level in the lead now, when three levels ago or so, ago was, or so, it was the other way around. That's what I mentioned about that hopscotch point of like level 9 or so. Uh, is this gonna work? Does this bomb explode? Yeah, okay, then it doesn't work. I don't know if that was intentional. Yeah, I think you're supposed to go and hit these uh, blocks last on hopscotch's level. I think you're supposed to climb up, drop the bomb, and then... No, you can't come back. Freeball touch... Oh, no, the platform will come back, right. So you Free... can just ride it the Freeball did way. the ice blocks last. Yeah. yeah. And then just use this ring. Hit the ice blocks. 
something. Yeah, Freebo has to go all the way down and then back up while destroying this whole left side. Yeah, and now this is solved. Just activate this chain reaction on the right. That's still maintaining the one level lead, basically. So on this level, you can just see that the only way you're going to get that metal block is getting a bomb near it. Yeah. And just follow the portal to see what you need to clear out of the way. Yeah, puzzle games are very much about working backwards. They're like very visible puzzle games like this where the whole level yeah, is on yeah. screen. It didn't really work in the last game. Oh, there was not, not much working backwards there. <laughs> there. There's just reacting to what the game gives you. I, I actually felt that game almost was like a rhythm game where you just have to sight read what inputs it wants you to have. Yeah, especially since you move so slowly, right? Mm -hmm. The jump that Freebo just did, like a wall jump off a block right here with a cannon on top, Ooh. that was so awkward that, I'm, that I feel like it's not the intended solution. Freebo went here and wall jumped off this platform. I think that's fine, because you don't have to wall jump, you just you can jump next to those blocks too, and I think it'll destroy them because your like, self-jump explosion hits things next to you. You absolutely want to shoot this cannon before destroying the wall. You need to clear that top ceiling that Freeball is not trying to do. So if you just wait that out and then break the... What's it called? Middle section to trigger the cannon, you should be fine. Uh, I don't think you want to be down here where Hopscotch is. Maybe. I mean, you can leave. Yeah. Free Freeball knows actually, what to this do. Is fine. It's just having a skill issue right now. Hopscotch just does this, it should work. Yeah, set up this. Ah, uh, Freebo once again did the same thing wrong. Yeah, Hopscotch takes the lead. Yeah, Hopscotch takes the lead with a very unintentional solution, or at least unintended by the game. Classic. I'm sure that she calculated exactly how that would work. Freebo is right behind now. Alright, we're moving. We've decided. Yes. I don't know if I agree with that decision. I think you want to drop that bomb into the portal. If the portal's there, you that, gotta... Yeah, use exactly. That's why it's there. <laughs> Do we have to be fast? Um... Along, like, this path? can just break that floor. Oh, I, I guess we're just gonna shoot everything like this. Oh, they ignore the cannon. Does this work? Yeah. Uh... That clears that. Um, th these last couple of blocks seem bad, but... I don't see it. I don't think we can get back up if we jump down here. Oh, wait, no, we can. You can use the springs and this then go could on the work. platform. I hate how this, this could work. This might work. Yeah, I know. Like, just this go is back a very now. hopscotch solution. Uh, uh, oh, where uh, you Does that go anywhere? Oh, no, that... Oh, no, the cannon killed her? Wait, it, it, I didn't even know it can kill you. Yeah, I know. But that would have worked, because that well, would have I mean, shot the cannon. Oh, no, it would have left the one. one, yeah. Yeah, so... Th there wasn't a point in even trying it, I think. Oh, no, she, she sees that it was close enough, though, which is... But, I mean, it, it will work. You just have to walk over there afterwards, then, which yeah. will also work. Can you make that Oh, you jump? can't? Y you could possibly make that jump. The question is if you can make this jump. It doesn't look good. It's definitely not what the game wants you to be doing, but... This is Hopscotch's MO to do what she sees. The free will do it is doing it the fast way. What I was thinking. Okay, this this looks a little bit better. No, uh, has to hit that top cabin somehow now. Oh, Rebo is now just dropping down instead. Yeah. 
Remember it's in the state that Hopscotch was in. Jumps in the spike. If Hopscotch is gonna come over here and do this series of jumps, she should really just break this orange block while she's here, instead of saving it for the end, right? You could just fall onto that and then move up the cannon and then go back left across the blocks that are still there. And that would be much easier, but... I mean, let's think about this. We go down here, probably, right? Yeah. And then what, what we want to get rid of, definitely, we want to activate the cannon. Mm -hmm. We want to get rid of this one. Well, once you come down here, you can't. You have to get rid of the floor, because you can't jump off of it without activating oh, it. I think what Hopscotch has is good. And now can do like a, a jump here. Yeah, that, that would be real nice. Is it? Okay. That's the whole right side soft. That'll hit that, hit that, and just these just jump. last blocks over here. Good. I, I, that, ignore. That's a pretty big lead. Ignore whatever. Oh, I think what you're supposed to do is like go here first, because then this cannon is gonna. Wait, no, it's gonna destroy the floor. Maybe you have to be fast. I don't know. Who knows? Oh. Video games. <laughs> okay. I like that move from Hopscotch to clear the path so that you can hit the ceiling with that cannon that's there. And then, yeah, this should work. Oh no! Sets off that uh, horizontal cannon just a second too early. Oh, that's that, that's rough for free ball. Ten levels left, and it's just kind of pretty stuck on this level. Mm -hmm. Maybe do this. Oh wait, you can't get back up. You'd have to go. Oh, yeah, I think sees that. You might be able to go. Uh, where's the telestrator link? Is that on the dashboard? I can send you a link. But it's also on the dashboard if we go to graphics. Okay. Just has to make it over these um, spikes now. Which isn't a trivial jump, but I mean, come on. What are the actual controls for this? How do you delete Oh them? my god! I don't see any controls on it. Oh, there at the top. Clear. Here we go. I thought you meant the game. <laughs> no. The game controls are just uh, up left and right, basically. Yeah, that's so... Yeah. Opscar's is running away. This is 23 now. Yeah, absolutely. But he got... Never mind, this is 24! Wow. Seven levels. Free is on like 19 yeah. or something. There's just a little bit of complexity in this uh, level 19 that both players struggle a lot with. Free balls struggling more. I weep for my country, comrade. Nice movement, 
Hopscotch just perfectly timing that. Wow. Oh, Basi basically nice. first trying this. Yeah, nice uh, decision to hide on the wall there to stay safe and avoid that cannon blast too. level hopscotch is on you just want to clear out these two lower platforms here first just, just stick with yellow Before setting off the bomb people always change the color yellow yellow is such yellow, a good yeah. color you can see it on so much okay. for some reason i don't know like madden figured this out the thing out 30 years ago <laughs> i feel like madden has less colorful games than us sometimes though they, they usually but, have but a you single color field. But you wouldn't expect yellow to be visible on green, and still they went for it. Hmm. Because, yeah, I mean, it's visible. Yeah. You can see it. The box. But, yeah, you're right. These two rows of blocks need to be removed before we activate yeah. this kind. And, and that's that it. Works. Doing the crouch style points. Well, get the clear. Moving on to level 20. Nice. Tank Pro. Tank Pro. So the real tricky block on this level hopscotch is on is this one up here. You need to clear out everything below it so one of these cannons can hit it. That's true. Oh, there's spikes over here, so you do need to drop the bomb backwards, but that should be reasonable to hit with this. Won't work, I don't think. Oh, hey, unless you can do some kind of crazy. Oh, that, that triggered that way, okay. I'm wow, surprised that work. triggered the exclamation block. Yes. And also, it didn't look intended. Like the whole solution, where where both cannons suddenly go in the same space. I don't know. It, it didn't. It doesn't seem like a thing they would do. Yeah. Right, another Remo's level. Still looking at level twenty. Not sure what to do here. So, unfortunately, not you know getting up the first momentum after finally clearing that difficult level. So it looks like catching up. Here's another level with, with a very obvious, like, final idea. Yeah. So working backwards from there, you want to drop this bomb onto there. That's such a wide scale you can go. Uh, so, that... Oh, that was wrong. Was... That was too early. Yeah. Is it? It is. Yeah. The thing is, you can activate this cannon by just wall jumping off this side. Right. And that cannon will drop that uh, bomb. Okay, it's, it's, it's like, again... I don't think this is supposed <laughs> to be a race, but it, I mean, it works. And yeah. we are in a race, so race. it is possibly the better solution regardless of being correct. Oh, free ball almost has the solution, but again, just sets off this cannon a frame too early. Two more levels for 
hopscotch if there's 30. You just at some point sat there with 30 the and I believed you. Oh yeah, it does the say The rent says beat level 30. Yeah, so. okay, okay. I never questioned it. Oh! Input error. Holding right too much walks into those spikes. I don't even remember this puzzle that three ball is in. Oh yeah, no. Uh, I think there's one of those that Hops just, just sort of did something and it worked out. I mean, it's, uh, it's like a, a jolly levels puzzle, right? You can brute force this. There's yeah. only so many possibilities. Especially when you figure out, oh, the last thing is probably the bomb. Like this one, and as a result, this one. So this yeah, cannon so is probably the last first. one. Yeah, it's probably the last one. And then suddenly you only have eight more possibilities. Uh, six. There's only six possible orders that you can activate the other three cannons in. And multiple of them might even work with how this puzzle is laid out. Bottom right is definitely first. There's no reason not to do this. Oh, the, uh, bottom, actually, it's bottom left, bottom right. That one guy finishing with a 28, absolutely dominant as usual. This year, or so I've been told. Oh, Hopscotch standing in a bad position gets hit by something. Maybe it was this. Oh, this I don't cannon? know. I saw the. Yeah. I mean, it was not this cannon. Even though it fired in the direction of Hopscotch, I don't think it yeah. fired through the wall. <laughs> no. I was also surprised. I thought, oh, it's soft. I think this is 30. No, this. I think this is 29 now. Huh. I, I remember that last one being 28. That shot up there will go through the orange portal and trigger that. Which yeah, but blue portal glass. is missing at, at the very least. Oh, but you can get back there. Yeah. Oh, I where are we going? Get rid of this floor. Oh, you you do need something to stand on there. Possibly solvable with a good jump? Yeah. No, I don't think so. 
Um, hopscotch, think... hopscotch is activating this cannon before this cannon, and that's wrong. Because uh, left. Okay, let me let me use different colors. We have left cannon, which will result in laser, and then this cannon, right? And then we've got right cannon, which will result in this bomb dropping down on this floor. And yellow is supposed to destroy this last block in the sequence. Absolutely. These are all destroyed I, I by red. Oh, and Hopscotch sees it. Nice, oh yeah. Nice time we for can yellow. Patiently do this. Oh, that uh, nineteen was a real killer for Freeball and Hopscotch as well too. Both of them were stuck on that level for quite a while, especially Freeball. Hopscotch almost had it, but didn't uh, jump from here somehow. Yeah, I don't know how Hopscotch even got up there without <laughs> doing that, but now it's soft. Okay. This is 100% soft. Yeah, I just need to trigger this and jump on this platform. Rebo on 24, Hopscotch on 30, last level. Yeah. And it's pure execution. Yeah, there is, there, there is no way, specialty. there is no way you get walled on this, I think. Not for a player like Hopscotch. Yeah. Ah, a bit too early. <laughs> it's hard to find the both of them represented in a in a game where like the difficulty of both of them seems fair too. There's a lot of puzzle platformers where the puzzles are just like real bad or the platforming just doesn't feel good, but this is game I feel balances both in a way that's accessible but still very interesting and challenging. A bit more puzzly than execution, I think. Absolutely, but uh... uh last stretch for Hopscotch. Oh, close one. Oh no! I think you can just duck underneath these <laughs> spikes, and that might be what you're intended to do. But uh, Hopscotch has just been using the duck to, you know, show off. Yeah, hell yeah. That's what the duck is made for. It is. That's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was almost not it, but it is it! Shot done with a time of uh, 3420. Thanks for playing. All in one. Nice ass. That's what the German version of Wii Sports says when you get a hole in one. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah, because us just means ace in German. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it says nice ass. I mean, it actually, it just says ass. It's funnier if you say nice. Yeah. Hello, hello, Hopscotch. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. I am surprised I won that, actually. Uh, yeah, both of you got walled on level 19 for quite a while, but Freeball got walled just a little bit longer. This is the main decider here. He's been catching up on the last 10 levels of the game pretty well, but still has a couple to go on 26 right now. Oh, nice, nice. Um, Fun game. Yeah, I, I like this one a lot. Um, it, it was really weird that time you got lasered through a wall or whatever. We were just like the puzzle solved, and then you died instead of... Winning, yeah. It oh, was yeah. even more ridiculous, because there was a portal. Yeah, was I know. <laughs> there a was wall. a portal I thought of a wall. <laughs> we we thought, like, laser? another cannon or something had went off when we saw you die there, so... Um, but yeah, you... How did you feel about... Uh, sitting down and looking at what the level was going to do versus trying to, you know, just see what happened and what was left over when you actually started blowing things up, or... 
Uh, I tried both strategies, and I felt like just sitting down and waiting seemed to be better. Because uh, if I just tried and did stuff, I wasn't paying enough attention, I didn't see what actually blew up. Yeah, that, that's definitely something where you need to know your own like learning ability and what you're paying attention to and how much is happening in a game to decide what really works out. I found it definitely helped to start with uh, the portals in the middle of nowhere that just led to one brick, and then work my way backwards from there. Absolutely, we were talking about that, that this is, like most puzzle games, something where working backwards and seeing which block is the last one you have to destroy, or has the most things in front of it, is a good starting point. Like, uh, I don't remember the number, but it was the race level. That was fun. I enjoyed that one. Mm -hmm. The ice is so slippery. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> it, it's a little bit weird, too, because, like, this is the sort of puzzle game where I don't feel like any of the puzzles would meaningfully change if you remove the ice, but they were still like, we, we gotta have some ice physics. I think Freeball had the solution, just didn't land on the platform there. I'd like the alternative solution, but actually landing on the platform is wrong because it takes too long to get through here. What you really want to do is just jump up here and go through the tunnel to destroy that wall. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, that's what I ended up doing. Where are I you? think it's on top of the level now. This, this is fine. No, it's not. You all know. <laughs> Cute character. I liked making him go up and down to the beat. Yeah. So wait, did did you actually try ducking under the spikes on the moving platforms and that didn't work? Because I saw that on the last level. I did, level. yeah. What, why is it there then? You get so flat. This is a really flat duck for... Flat duck. It boxes are hard, okay? Let's check out this bracket. Uh, I think you're moving on to place I another tramps. friend, Trambles. Mm -hmm. You out there, Trambles? Is there a matchup next? You want to fight? I can oh. tell you there's no match oh, right true. now. Like, Trambles in, in probably the next is yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. No, stayed on the platform and it drove him straight into spikes. Does not get shot through a wall. I, I wanted to. Nose. I, I wanted free will to wait down there just to see yeah. if it would happen again. It was consistent, yeah. <laughs> I thought this was a really good level, actually. It's not as nice because of the order of cannons up here. I like how uh, it sort of takes a while, even though it should be obvious, to realize that you can go through the floor here once you get rid of it and get just get back to the other side of the level. And you can clearly and make a false assumption that you kind of need to do stuff at the starting point before going up there, and you don't. I was like, I wonder if you can go over the level here, and then I realized that wouldn't be helpful at all. <laughs> also extremely rude, if you touch the edges of the level, you just die. 
Really? I, I didn't realize that. <laughs> but not the top, somehow. Yeah, not the top. Oh, speaking of, I like this that one time on this level when I jumped over to the left here from the bottom row with the cannon and the, the platforms didn't detonate. Oh, yeah, we were wondering like how you got up there without when those cannons being still there. You mean like these platforms, right? The, the... Oh, uh, In five seconds, these... you will see the yellow box I drew. Yeah, those ones. Yeah. We, we were thinking the same thing. How did Hopscotch get up there without destroying those? I don't know, maybe I jumped on the very corner and it wasn't enough on the box or something? I'm curious if Freewall can possibly set off this cannon or something with a tricky wall jump, but jumps into spikes instead. I think understands the level enough to know that if he had just set off that cannon while up there after detonating this series, Ooh. it would be fine. Shot this laser a little early, but it's fine. Ah! Oh, even landed on the platform and then like slid off it. The, the game changed its oh. mind. <laughs> That is mean. Oh. Not the victim of ice? Why is it there? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what ice has to, like, like lost in this game in the first place. Ah, this time activates the cannon too early. Not solvable. Still gonna go for it. Worth a try. But... Oh, that was closer than I thought it would be, but. Ah. But what if they went over the level to the right and then slid down the wall there? You'd have to get up there somehow, and this seems impossible. Again, oh, going a little true. early on this platform, or this cannon. Uh, a bit early again. Okay, set. And that's clear. And then on to this final execution level, which we'll see if we can get uh, very quickly or not. First try. <laughs> worth a try sometimes sometimes with these levels it's just like the puzzle is realizing you don't have to do all of the things that are there all right third try i hope freeball also tries to duck There we go, third nice. try. I was so worried about that final tile and just accidentally like <laughs> clipping the spikes or something. How did you end up doing it, uh, Aiko? That, that is how you were supposed to do it, that is how Hopscotch did it at least. Um, I skipped the the bouncy platform going up to the last rideable platform. But apart from that, yeah. Hello. 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 Fun game. Yeah, I have to say, if it comes to empty submissions, this was probably above average. I liked it. My brain did not work, though. <laughs> yeah, both of you struggled a lot with level 19, and that ended up being a big decider in this race. Yep. Yeah, 19 so is the... impossible. <laughs> I kind of wanted it to be more platforming than puzzling, and it just wouldn't be more platforming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just keeps getting slightly more puzzly.
I always thought, surely this is the level where I just trigger the first thing and then have to go fast. And I did it like five times <laughs> and it never worked. <laughs> Who is Freeball Ball? Uh, let's check. Freeball, you're moving into the back bracket. You're going up against... We'll see if you have a decided opponent. Uh, you're going up against Kurt Q, another longtime MT vet, who uh, will be sure to be an exciting match. Have you two actually had MT matches against each other in your long histories? Uh, I can't remember I, one offhand. I, I'm not sure in MT. There might be one. But yeah, we we've raced a lot just casually. Mm -hmm. Would you say that you're going to win that match? I don't think so. No. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even used to racing anymore at all. I think my last race was maybe an empty. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I think it was in Funfest, the ball game. Oh, yeah. But yeah, Kirk is a very good player. A long time yeah. player. Uh, we absolutely saw him show off uh, and get white close to beating Frambles in the last match, so definitely looking forward to both these matches, though. Uh, I don't know how to do an interview either. Maurice, did you leave? I what? I leave? Did you leave? No, did I'm here. I'm, you... wait I'm, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm waiting yeah. for you to learn how to do an interview. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> You're the one who sits yeah. in and listens to other people yeah. do them. Okay, um... Pretty well, there was that one level, level 19. Pretty much everyone got stuck on it, and I think you got stuck the hardest. Is, does that take the wind out of your sails? Oh, absolutely. Especially if I then look over and then I see that one guy in half beat beastie finish when I'm just entering 20 or something. Yeah, they were fast. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh no, they're already done. I don't think... Bad duck done from free balls coming soon. I just know it. I've gotten stuck too hard on a puzzle. Why did it have to be a puzzle game? <laughs> I don't think either of you did 19 the intended way, if there even is an intended way. It's just like a weird... It's, yeah, it's a I weird collection so. of things you have to do in some order. Yeah. I think there was a couple levels afterwards too where I... I'm still not sure about the correct order, and it just happened to happen that some timings work out and some don't. The correct order is any order that works. So are you hoping for a not puzzle game in the next match, Freeball? Uh, I'm usually pretty good at puzzles, but this was like a weird mix where I didn't know what it is and if I'm supposed to be puzzling or if I'm supposed to be platforming. So that, that, that's what threw you off. Yeah. I, we've yeah, got a it, bunch of... It's, it's weird. I mean, the, the previous game, if you saw uh, Soul Mirror, was also that. It was mostly puzzle, but then suddenly there were weird execution-heavy sections about like switching in air and getting the right distances and that kind of thing. Would you say, if you get a puzzle platformer, that you want something that is more clear of what the level expects you to do? Yes. <laughs> like, if I get full-on Snake Burger or Sokoban, I'll be fine. But this is a weird mix. Yeah, it, it's sometimes really difficult with these sorts of games to understand how much the game is expecting to you. And that was something I noticed in Soul Mirror 2 when I was starting. Like, for the first beginning of the level, the game trained me to just like hold right and keep jumping. And then as soon as it expected me to do something more complicated than that, my brain was already off. So when you get something that's a puzzle from the start and you have to keep thinking, it, it really gets you into the right rhythm for it. Alright. I think that wraps it up pretty well. Like... Okay. Uh, what do we so... got coming up? No, no, you... Exuna, come on. 
you gotta learn the <laughs> way of the interview when you gently but firmly tell the racers to go away so you say like all right thank you very much for joining hope you enjoyed your race and see you next time oh thank you uh, good <laughs> luck with your next race too yeah good luck in the next race hops and uh, thanks for the commentary guys you're very welcome all right and then let's have a look what's coming up excellent what's coming up we've got uh Lon versus Zenik in two hours, just over. Uh, that's an exciting match. Another back one match, a loser's uh, that someone will be eliminated, which is really surprising for Zenik. Yeah, the, you were like Lon versus Zenik. I was like, oh, that, that's a good match. Zenik is a, is a known good competitor. Yeah. And then next thought is, oh, it's a back one match. I know. Um, but that's the only thing scheduled for tonight. Um, and. This year, everyone's actually been pretty good about getting their matches on the schedule ahead of time. I'm a bit surprised we haven't had a lot of pop-up races just happening. So that's probably the only thing you'll see on this channel. But tomorrow, we've got two more races. We've got Yugi versus Callback at 6, and Hazel Shade versus Bayo Kirby probably right after that at 7.30. Eastern. Uh, so that is mystery just time. about in one day for right now. I like to call it mystery time because for some reason every time we use is in EST. Like uh, yeah. weekly blinds are too EST, which is really weird because uh, generally things back in the day were scheduled around Boney, who was not in Eastern Standard Time, but we still stand. <laughs> you know what's it called? Just settled on that because it's one of the more populated portions of the community. But yeah, join us back in probably about two hours and we'll have another race for you. But until then, thanks for watching. <laughs>